Jessica, thank you very much. All eyes turning to the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia hosting game three of the World Series. Philadelphia in that World Series for the first time since 2009. We'll turn our attention to CBS 21's Joel D. Smith. He is live outside of Citizens Bank Park. Joel D., everyone with eyes to the sky. What's the atmosphere like outside the ballpark? Ooh, atmosphere. That's an interesting word to choose. Uh, we'll talk about the actual weather conditions in just a bit. But the atmosphere I think you're talking about is how much fun it is. It's looking pretty good. And take a look over here. This guy's got a good atmosphere. He's feeling good. But over there, you got the Clydesdale. You come out here, you're going to get not just the game. You're getting the atmosphere. You're getting the fun. And take a look at this. You're getting some street art. We were here when the guy put this together. And I asked him, hey, that's got to be, you know, water safe, right? He says, no, it is not. Uh, he did cover it up once when it had a little bit of drizzle. The question is, will we have more than that? That's not only a question for the art situation here. It's also for some people who got tickets for tonight, but only tonight. Take a listen. We're either going to be having some beers downtown or uh, in, in sorrow or in happiness on the game. <laughs> what are your options in case they just push it back a day, everything? Uh, I, I'm, we'll have to, we'll, we'll debate on, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. My Option number one, what's more, more than likely going to happen, I have to fly back tomorrow night and we'll miss out on the game and my dad will have to find somebody else to come with. All right, so his dad might need to find someone else to go with. Maybe he can go with you if this game goes moved to tomorrow. We got Steve Knight here, a huge Phillies fan, but you're also a fan of weather, but not this weather. Mm, not this weather. You know, we're still waiting to see what Major League Baseball is going to do. Latest I heard is they might wait till 6:30 to make a decision. So, so we'll wait and see what happens. But as of right now, it's dry. I know. Hey, we're going to be talking to more to Steve Knight in just a little bit about the weather, yes, but also his Philly fandom and uh, how much fun it is to be down here once every decade or so to cheer on the Phillies. So Let's he's psyched. He's He's psyched. The rest of the fans are as well. We'll get back to you just a little bit, guys. Back to you. Just dragging anyone out of the old picture. Thank you very much, Joel D. We'll check. Fantastic. And speaking of Philadelphia, obviously all eyes are right there doesn't on look the good. weather forecast. Yeah, not, it doesn't yeah, look good. Not good at all. We're going to check in with Joel D. Smith, who is live outside of Citizens Bank Park. He found some random fan walking <laughs> around aimlessly, and we're going to put him on TV. That's what you do when you're a professional. Yeah, you guys can say what you want about the weather. We wanted to see a little closer what it's like. So uh, what do you think from here looking at the skies, my friend? Well, looking at the skies, it's definitely cloudy. Look, it is at some point in time, it is going to rain tonight. It's a matter of how much and for how long. Right. These fans, by the way, don't care. Take a no. look around a little bit. They're having the time of their lives because call this a once in a lifetime if you want. It was 2008, 2009. Before that, it was 1980. Is what yeah. I mean. It's been a long time. Uh, but these fans are going to just celebrate no matter what, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, obviously it's the first home game of the World Series for the Phillies since 2009. So this has been a long time coming, Joel D, and the fans are ready. Yeah, so I did talk to someone earlier who said, I said, what are you going to do if you can't make it? You heard the one guy who said he's got to fly back home. So another one said, I don't care. I'll be here as long as it takes. Yeah, said, no, I, yeah. I talked to a guy. He basically said, hey, look, I have a cot in my car, and if that's what it takes, I'll sleep in the parking lot. Well, line. let's talk real quick about the new rules this year yeah. compared to back in 2008. They changed right. it after 2009. Yeah, basically, if they start the game and they have to postpone it at some point in time, they'll resume the game tomorrow. Let's say they had to you know, stop the game in the third inning. Yeah. They'd pick it right up in the third inning tomorrow. So right. this game will be finished. If they start it, it just might take until tomorrow. You can say you were there. It's yeah. Different <laughs> right. days the same yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, all right, we have much more going on. We're going to be back here soon. And once again, you're going to hear from that authentic Philly fan, but also a friend from the past, Jason Bristol, is going to be here. And what do you have? I got a poncho. Uh, <laughs> when the weatherman has a that. poncho. Yeah. You guys heard him anyway. The weatherman has a poncho. Yeah, yeah. yeah when the weatherman good. comes with a poncho exactly. and, uh, you know, an umbrella, <laughs> things probably not looking good in the forecast. Maybe it was it. supposed to be a Halloween costume and just turned into a necessary Hold item. on, Steve's not wearing a Halloween costume? <laughs> oh, good point. Ooh. That was scary face. Yeah. Well, he's probably not yeah. All right, yes, 21's Joel D. Smith. He's outside Citizens Bank Park. Right now, Joel D., it looks like people having a good time. No rain looks to like be it. had, but Tom says that's going to come to an end relatively quickly. Yeah, we know that'll happen eventually, but for now we have some cheers and the soothing sound of sirens in the background. Yes, this is Philadelphia. We love it. What else do we love? How about the ghost of sports directors past? I had a chance to talk to a guy. Who? Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Bristol. Yes, from CBS 21 back in the day. How you doing, man? It's been a long time. It's been six years since I left. 
a fast six years. It is a fast six years, especially when your baseball team in Houston has now gone to four World Series in six years. Do they realize you're the reason why yet? No, no, I have nothing to do with it. I'm just there to uh, provide the viewers of Houston with an inside look at what's going on. Right, an inside look because you, you've known Chaz McCormick for a really long time. It's been fun seeing his success, and now he's with you guys down in uh, Houston. Yeah, it's great. I mean, Chaz obviously is a product of Millersville University, covered Millersville a lot, and when Chaz first got called up, Chaz was saying, oh, I remember you. So yeah, it, it, it's been really great because we have that connection of Pennsylvania. Give us the, uh, the, the call then. What's gonna happen here the next three days in Philly? Well, I had Astros in six. I think when you look at how this Astros team is constructed, best bullpen in baseball, best starting staff in baseball. The key is they need to get Jordan Alvarez and Jose Altuve going. Yeah. This will be quite a test. <laughs> the Astros have been in New York, Yankee Stadium, but Philly, Philly's, Philly's special. So we'll see how the Astros can handle the crowd. Based on their experience, I think they'll be up to the task, but they need to hit. He said Philly's special, folks. Did you notice that? Good sports reference here. That's across the street, though, the other place. Hey, great to see you, man. We great miss you. Seeing you. And you're, you're all, keep up the good work. Hey, everybody back in the 717. Great seeing you. There he is. That is the illustrious Jason Bristol. Now he is a Houston broadcaster, but we know his heart is still with us here in Pennsylvania, and he loves the Phillies as well, but he can't admit that on the air, just to us. Anyway, guys, we'll see you coming up again soon. For now, it is not raining in Philadelphia. Back to you. The weather is one of the bigger stories, mm -hmm. but Joel D, fans having some fun out there outside of Citizens Bank Park. I'm sure there's a beverage or two being enjoyed <laughs> by some. What do you say, Joel D? I'm sure that's happening a little further away from us. This guy has to be serious because he's the one behind that great street art we showed you earlier. It is Michael McCauley right here. The stuff's gorgeous. How nervous are you about the weather, though? Well, I'm just glad. I mean, the fans get to enjoy it now. Once they're in the ballpark, you know, I guess it'll wash away. So, What, what kind of paint is it? We're going to get a better look at it right now. What do you use to create this? Um, it's tempera paint and chalk. So it's very temporary. So nice hard rainstorm. I brought a tarp just in case. We'll cover it if we can, but uh, otherwise, <laughs> enjoy it now. Take a lot of pictures. You're the only one watching the weather more than we are. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've been watching it all day. <laughs> well, it turned out beautiful, so congratulations on that. Tell everybody if they want to check out your work, where to go. Uh, MichaelMcCauley.com. It's M-A-C-A-U-L-A-Y. All right. Well, congratulations. He also did opening day, guys, but uh, we'll let you get back to it. Great job. All right. Thank you. All right. Go Phils. Hey, guys, we also want to show you what's happening on this side behind me over here. So they are starting to let fans in gradually. The latest we heard is that the decision has been moved back to at least 645. It was supposed to be 330, then 5 o'clock. Now 645. It sounds like they really want to get this game in no matter what. Uh, the fans are here. Some people can't go tomorrow in case that's it. You know, each ticket costs around $900, $1,000 maybe. So they want to get this game in if they can. So basically, we'll see if they can do that. So far, they keep pushing it back. They're not saying go home. So maybe they're going to say play ball. And as I say this, a couple raindrops start coming uh, down. We'll keep an eye on it for you. See you soon, guys. Back to you. <laughs> you jinx yourself, Joel D. Great job, Joel D. I it is the first World Series game in Philadelphia since 2009. Take a look around. They are ready to roll. But will baseball actually happen here tonight? We'll tell you next. Coming around the corner, it is CBS 21 News at 6. Got to take the victories where we can get them, Tom. And even though there are questions about whether or not Game 3 will happen, people in Philadelphia are still making it out to Citizens Bank Park, as is CBS 21's Joel D. Smith. So, Joel, there is uh, artists. There is a Ferris wheel. It's kind of like a carnival-like atmosphere. It certainly is, and hopefully that's not all they end up with with their entertainment for tonight. Since I saw you last, I got the jacket on, I got the hat on, because the rain has just started to fall. We've been here uh, since about 2.30 this afternoon. It's been the talk. They were going to make a decision at 3.30, then at 5, now 6.45. Major League Baseball seems like they want to get this game in, but we're not sure if they're going to be able to. You heard from a guy earlier today who said, hey, I can only come to tonight's game. I don't know what I'm going to do if it gets canceled. I think they're caring about those people and the thousands that are here already that maybe took off time to be here. They are here, they're ready to roll. They've been waiting for this for a long time. But I talked to another guy. He doesn't care. Whenever they play, he'll be ready. And he actually uh, had to work to get some extra money for this because it costs a lot to come here. Take a listen. Once a lifetime thing, I've remortgaged my house 100%. Got 3500 out on my house. I'm proud to say it too. 
He said that the tickets for tonight, standing room tickets, $900. Quick fact for you, it would have been cheaper to fly to Houston, get a hotel, get a ticket at Houston, watch your Phillies play there and fly back than getting most of the seats here tonight. But the people are ready to roll. We'll see if this game actually happens, though. It is starting to rain. We'll see in just a little bit, guys, and we'll show you more about what's happening a little bit further down that way. But for now, back to you. Halloween at the World Series was supposed to be a treat. It's turning out to be more of a trick. We're talking more about it next and the weather. The hog, apparently the energy is rising in anticipation yep. of a Philadelphia Phillies World Series game. Fans, they're excited to hopefully host the World Series baseball game for the first time since 2009. And of course, that's where we find our very own Joel D. Smith. He's live outside Citizens Bank Park. I need a weather update, my friend. Well, first it is Bryce D. Smith, if you haven't noticed. The rain stopped. We know it's coming back, according to you. But, you know, this is also Halloween. I got that Carter and Thomas here with me right now. Guys, you gave up trick-or-treating for this? Why? Because it's, it's a Philly. It's World Series. I mean, it's World Series. Right, you don't know if you're ever going to see this again in your life. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Mom, get over here. It's been frustrating, though. We hope we get this game in. If it doesn't happen tonight, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to go to my mom's, eat dinner, and send the kids trick-or-treating. <laughs> and mini Bryce Harper's. Everybody wins, right? Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Hey, guys, you missed trick-or-treating, but no, you didn't. I'm taking care of you tonight. Go ahead. Take a big handful of those guys. You. There right. you go. Hey, we it's not raining now. We know it might rain later. They're going to look at this again. And these guys are happy, and so is everybody else. We'll have more reports for you tonight at 10 and 11. We'll see you then. Wow. Back to you. I mean, can you beat that day? He, he, got, he got World Series stuff. He yep. got Halloween trick-or-treat in there. Joel D did it all. I